everyone, my name is Miss Nicole and I am a Youth Services Librarian with the Grundy Library. Welcome to today's Little Steamers activity. These activities are great for ages three to six. Uh, if you have somebody who is younger, feel free to have an adult present to help them through the activities. You might also need to help the three, four, and five-year-olds. These activities are geared for younger kids, but they are a great way to build up some of those early skills you might need before going to school like some gross and fine motor skills, working on cutting, coloring, writing, um, gluing, using tape, and following directions. Today's STEAM activity features primarily um, some engineering, a little bit of pattern recognition, which is great for math and technology skills, and for science, um, but we're primarily focusing on those engineering skills because we're going to be building some, we're also going to be doing some science-based elements in that we are going to be working through a hypothesis, seeing what's going right and what's going wrong and how we can fix it. So we are going to get started. Today you are going to need an empty cereal box, some scissors, some tape. Um, this is optional. It depends on how you craft your final result, if you're going to need this or not. You're going to need either a ball of some kind. I have a cat toy. <laughs> or some matchbox cars that will roll down a ramp. So anything that you can roll down a ramp is really great for this activity. You're also gonna need some Duplos. Um, if you have older children and you are monitoring everything, feel free to use regular size Legos if you have them. I'm using the Duplos because this is for the younger, younger age group and so it's a little bit safer to use the bigger building blocks. Speaking of blocks, you could also use regular blocks. So I have some wooden blocks here from the library that I brought with me. If you guys have any type of blocks, um, what we're going to be focusing on is building up a tower-like structure. So you're going to need something that you can stack uh, safely. So that's why I have these wooden blocks or you can use the Duplos or anything really. Sometimes even books helps if you have a large pile of books that you can stack up safely as well. So we are going to get started. I'm going to turn my camera down towards the activity and I'm going to walk you through the steps. First, you're going to want to take your scissors and cut out our ramp from our cereal box. So our ramp is going to be one of the side edges, usually where the nutrition label is on the box. So we are going to cut down the box's front around the bottom and then we're going to cut up through the back and you want to make sure that you're doing this a little bit um, into the box so that you're creating a side edge to the ramp. So we're going to finish cutting this and then we're all done. So as you can see, the bottom part of that is the um, side of the cereal box and then we are, the edges are the front and the back of the box. And then where the tabs are that you open your cereal box, we're just gonna cut those off so we have an opening for our ramp. All done. So this is our ramp. And now we're gonna build our structure for uh, attaching our ramp. So you're gonna get your blocks or you're gonna get your Duplos and we're gonna start stacking them into a tower structure. As you can see here, I'm using blocks and I'm building it as high as I can go. All right, so as you can see, we have our tower built here. So what you're gonna wanna do next is attach our ramp like we saw before. I did kind of like a, an experimental um, trial the first time. My cereal box is a little bit shorter, so my ramp's gonna be shorter. So I'm just gonna take this down and we're gonna, you can either Hold it. The ideal part is to kind of have it built so that it's attached. Um, since this wouldn't really hold it, what I'm going to do is use my tape for this because um, just to secure it better, just to secure it better onto our tower here. So the whole objective of today's experiment is to really kind of work on our trial and error. Um, the taller our tower, is it going to make our car go faster? The shorter our, ta our tower, is it going to make it go slower? Um, is it going to make it go farther or shorter? Kind of just so focusing on those types of questions. And then also um, focusing on 
um, what other elements might make our ramp better or worse. And then, um, so I'm just going to secure it here so that we kind of have our ramp going in the direction we want it to go. And then another way would be to kind of uh, stabilize it with another block down here. Kind of just get your little ones to start asking questions and experimenting to see if this can work different ways. And then you test it out. So we have our ramp set up here. I'm gonna use my car, put it at the very top, and then zoom, <laughs> watch it go off the ramp. So this is a great activity to do with siblings as well, or with an adult and a child, if you guys wanna race each other, that would also be a fun way to get this um, activity going. So we're gonna try this one more time with our Duplos, just to show you guys the second way you can build your towers. So with the Duplos, they're obviously a very specific width apart. So you can either um, stack them this way, so that they're, they're a little bit wider, um, use your four prongs, you know, this is a great activity for your little ones too because it gets them building in creative ways, gets them thinking about different shapes and different numbers and how that might correspond to the structure they're trying to build. A lot of good trial and error as well on how things might work. So we're just gonna haphazardly kind of just start building up a tower. So I got my tower here. I'm going to board, build a support one down here for the ramp. And let's see how this goes. I'm gonna tape my ramp down. I might actually have to get new tape. I'm gonna tape my ramp down now to my Duplos. They're a little bit more easier to secure. And of course you, since this is a little easier to secure, you don't need that support system, but you can still add it if you want. Um, this one needs, this one needs a little bit higher of a support. Doesn't quite reach it. There we go. Like I said earlier, this one's a lot more fun to work with because you can experiment a little bit easier than with the blocks because you have varying numbers, shapes, widths, um, and sizes that allow you to build your structure in a, in a very uh, variety of ways. So this time we're gonna use our car and our ball to see how it goes. All right. Whoa, <laughs> that was awfully fast. Let's try with the ball. And go. So as you can see, it's a lot of fun. Um, you can do it on a larger table. I just have a short one with me so you can hear it crash landing onto the floor, but it's a fun activity to do with your little one, it, especially with the blocks and the Duplos. It's very easy for even your littlest of little ones, those two and three year olds to build with you. Um, and then the cutting part is great for four and five year olds who are working on their scissor skills. And then if they are still not quite comfortable or if they're struggling a little bit, feel free to grab an adult to kind of help with that part of the activity. Um, tape is also another fun skill to work with little ones. Sometimes they take too much tape, sometimes too little. So it's kind of getting them to practice the exact amount that they might need for an activity um, such as this. So I hope you guys enjoyed our very first little steamers activity. Let me down, let us know down below what you learned, uh, what you uh, found in your experimentation and in your activities. If you even tried this activity or not, we'd love to hear from you guys. For more activities and for more virtual programming, please visit our website at www.grundylibrary.org. Uh, check out any of our other YouTube videos and are on our social media pages. I will have everything linked and listed below in the description. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye everyone.